ATL, where Kirk Cousins and the Falcons, they play host to the Seahawks, who have lost their last three games in a row. Kyle, what stands out to you uh, in this one? Yeah, the Seahawks are like the Pacific Northwest Saints. Like, they started really well, and then everything's just falling apart. I don't like this matchup for them. I think Atlanta runs the hell out of the ball. We're going to have Tyler Algier on the show later. Between he and Bijan, Atlanta is playing really hard and taking on the personality of their head coach right now. I like Atlanta in this game. What do you got, Akbar? Uh, you're, you're right, because you look at this Seattle's defense. They're giving up, I mean, 144 yards a game. Bijan's going to go off. Algier's going to go off. I, I, I really like this game. I'm going to give you some more time, though. Uh, man, Ty. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Uh, thank you. Give, give me more time and give Kenneth Walker the ball more. That's that's what you got to do if you're the Seattle Seahawks. Take that pressure off of Geno. Like, Geno's feeling a lot of pressure. He makes a lot of bad decisions when he feels that pressure. Take some pressure off. Give the ball to Kenneth Walker. Let him do his thing. I would, I would say DK Metcalf I'm going to keep an eye on because the last time we saw him, he was putting on a headset and screaming at the <laughs> offensive coordinator on the sidelines of that Thursday night loss. Look, it's been a long 10 days up until the kickoffs because they lost on a Thursday night. Seattle should not lay an egg in this one. They should come down there being ready to play. And after three straight losses, I would feel like this is kind of the season in the balance. Are you a real team or are you a pretender? We'll see this weekend.